My name is Howard Winbow. Uh, my current role is a dual role. I'm at the technology manager, which is something that I've been involved with throughout really my whole career. But in the last couple of years, I've actually taken on a site responsibility. So that's involved getting uh, responsibility for human resources, health and safety, finance, operations, sales, etc. So a much broader role now. The products we're actually involved with making are everyday items in many ways. A Wedgwood plate, for example. Um, Wedgwood make the final plate, but they buy the decoration from a company like ourselves, and we solely make the colour. And unlike many other colours that have come before them, these are lead free. Left uh, university with a PhD in material science, having obtained a uh, degree in geology. So I actually uh, had a couple of offers, one from a refractories company and one from a uh, decorative uh, chemicals company, and I took the, the latter and joined a research laboratory in London. For me, what was quite exciting is that being part of what was and still is a fairly large multinational company, um, I could easily look to move elsewhere within the organisation. Throughout my period of what is now 20 years in the company, I've actually moved around, I can't remember the last counts, but about 12 different sites, including a three-year period in Italy as research and development manager there. The, the Italy job was an interesting experience. The idea of going abroad is very exciting, and of course everyone would jump at the opportunity until, it, un, until it's suddenly on offer. And then all sorts of doubts creep in about, oh, what about my family, what about my friends? And we went through a lot of heartache, in fact, making the decision. Actually, we were going to say no because we got so many negative thoughts as well as the incredible positive thoughts. And uh, we were coming over Mont Blanc uh, back from Italy, and my wife turned to me and said, you know what? If we don't say yes, we'll regret it for the rest of our lives. And we, we both said, you're right, let's do it. Let's take a chance and give it a go. Um, and the rest is say history. We had a wonderful three years there. In my O levels, as, as it was called then, uh, they, they weren't the uh, the options of geology, but there was an A level subject. Uh, and I was fortunate that when I chose to do geology at A level, there was a new teacher uh, who just qualified and who was incredibly enthusiastic. Uh, and it met with my enthusiasm to learn. The first time in my school life, I have to say that I actually you know, wanted to do homework, wanted to study and find out about things rather than just doing it because, you know, the teacher said, can you get this piece of work in by Friday? In work, one guy in particular um, was a process engineer uh, and he just couldn't do enough for me. He answered all my questions. And he, he just went the extra mile. And I was so taken by that guy that there and after and for the best part of 17 years until he retired a few years ago, he's been my unofficial mentor. I didn't know the term then, but when I look back, he's been some, somebody who's helped shape my thoughts and decisions along the way. Recently, I've, I've got more into running, so uh, that, that takes up my energies at the moment. I joined the local running club in my town the last few years, and uh, a year ago was asked to be chairman, which again is, uh, you could say, well, is that relaxing then, taking on more responsibility? But the running is the bit that obviously is, is is exciting. I li I'm fortunate living on, in, although living in a town on the edge of beautiful countryside in the Peak District, uh, and can run out into the hills within 20 minutes from my door. I've still got 20 years of working life to go, and, uh, and I'm not the sort of person that could envisage doing the same thing for 20 years. So, um, possibly some kind of teaching role. I'm, I'm quite keen on, on giving something back, especially to, to younger people. Um, uh, so I maybe could, could end up something on those lines.